So welcome to my iMac speed tests uh, for the late 2012 iMac. So I'll be doing a few tests using Cinebench, Novabench and Blackmagic Disk Speed Reader. So we're starting off now with Cinebench and we're measuring the OpenGL, so graphic card performance. So this procedure uses a complex 3D scene depicting a car chase and it measures the performance of your graphics card. So it depends on various factors, such as your GPU process on your hardware, but also on the drivers used. Um, so it uses a huge amount of geometry and a variety of effects, such as the environment, bump maps, transparency, lighting, um, things like that. Basically everything that you could involve game-like scenes uh, to give you the best idea of how well the game is going to play. So the result it's going to give us is in frames per second. Um, and that'll just show us how smooth a game uh, will play on this with the one gigabyte NVIDIA GeForce graphics card. So we finished now and that gave us a frames per second of 38.6 frames per second, which is good. That came third in Cinebench's rankings. Um, and obviously it's got a good graphics card NEA, so we expect that, and that would be able to play um, high-end games such as COD. So we're now moving on to a different test, which is the CPU test or main processor performance. So I sped this up because it does take quite a while. So it's rendering a 3D image at the moment. Um, so it's a test scene, it contains 2,000 objects which in turn contain more than 300,000 polygons and it uses sharp to blurred effect, area lights, shadows and procedural shaders. So that's given us a score of 4.6, which is 6 in their ranking, but it's still pretty good and um, shows us that the CPU um, is very good. The higher the number, the faster the processor, so that's a pretty high score. So we're now moving on to Novabench. Um, which is similar to Geekbench. It's going to give us a score of a few things. So it'll give us an overall score, which we can then use to compare to other um, computers. Um, and then it's going to get, split that down into system RAM score, CPU tests, graphic tests, and hardware tests. So we're doing the RAM score at the moment. This is the uh, graphics card test which uses 3D images similar to Cinebench. And we're now moving on to the hardware tests. So this is testing the hard drive. This is obviously the 7200 RPM hard drive model, not the Fusion uh, drive model. So this model is um, the 3.2 GHz Intel Core i5, 8 GB of RAM, as I already said, the NVIDIA GeForce graphics card. So the results we got there were 904, which is a good score. Um, it's actually on par with an i7 uh, on their website. So the system RAM scored 183. The CPU tests were 501. The graphics tests were 192. And the hardware tests were 28. So we're now moving on to the uh, black disk magic speed test which tests the speed of the hard drive uh, and the results we're getting here are 119.8 and 119.0 um, which a reasonable good speed so you know, this is 7200 rpm uh, hard drive not a fusion drive so overall that's pretty fast and you can import things into your iMovie library with a reasonable speed, um, as much speed as I need anywhere. 
So, thanks for watching. Um, please go check out my review, uh, which is a more in-depth uh, review of the iMac and around it. Uh, please like, comment and subscribe.